Lainey Louie, our guest. Uh, she is a celebrity blogger who has so many followers. I bet when you tweet, things happen. Uh, mm -hmm. It depends what I'm tweeting about. Sometimes <laughs> it's just my dogs. I see. <laughs> and uh, how many dogs now? Two. Two dogs. Uh, names Mark? Marcus is the older one, and Barney is the younger. Okay, Marcus Beagles. and Barney, and yes. they're beagles, yeah. and the husband is still in the house. So the husband that is too. still in the house. Yes, yeah, he has a name too. So <laughs> <laughs> everything's good everything's at the household. Great. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, Brittany Spears, a little fragile. You know, as we said before the break, she's now a judge on X Factor, $15 million. They started the auditions the other day, and within a, a few hours, she bailed on the judging panel and needed to take a break. They tried to play it down, saying, you know, she's fine. Mm -hmm. She just needed to go on a break. She needed a snack, but none of the other judges needed to. I mean, and we have to talk about her stamina. We have to talk about her state of mind. Is she going to be able to endure the the rigor of this kind of TV program? I'm not sure. Mm, and Simon Cowell still involved, right? Simon Cowell still involved. And to go back to why you know her people would agree to this and why Simon would want her, I think that the draw is whether or not she loses her mind. I mean, I mm. wonder if. You know, train wreck mm -hmm. television has been the thing for a mm -hmm. decade now, sure. and there's no bigger. It's all showbiz. It's all showbiz. So I think that she's quite fragile, and I, I disagree with the decision of putting her on the show. But I mean, when money is at stake, and when she's her life is being controlled by her father and her fiance, it becomes a situation yeah, where she no much. longer is making decisions on her own behalf. Okay, so that's. Uh how it is. Yeah. Uh, Miley Cyrus, yes. speaking of dads, yes. who are, were famous, are famous, right. I guess. Mm -hmm. I wish she would stop singing that song, that <laughs> oh. whatever, achy, breaky, whatever. Achy, breaky it's heart. It's so, anyway, but <laughs> I guess when you have like one thing and that people know you for. And when you're a country guy. Yeah, exactly. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Miley, all grown up now. Um, and a bit of a career transition, I would say, because she's no longer Hannah Montana, and she no longer really has the loyalty of you know, those sure. fans, they didn't grow with her. You know, the 14 year old who loved Hannah Montana a few years ago is now 18 and is into other things. So it's, it's a diff it's, it, it's an interesting time for, for somebody sure. like uh, Miley Cyrus to transition Well, she's looking more like a siren adulthood. than an ingenue, I must say. That's right, uh, deliberately, it, deliberately, of right? Course. She wants to shed that image. Mm -hmm. And she was talking about sex. Not she that ingenues don't, but. She called it magical. Magical. Yeah. So, I mean, mm -hmm. lucky her, because her boyfriend is super hot. Really? Liam Hemsworth. Did you see The Hunger Games? Yes. He was the tall one. Oh, okay. In the, not the and short guy, but the Miley tall one. He's Miley Cyrus's squeeze. Yes. Yes. Well. Mm. I know. He's super hot Australian. And his yeah. brother is super hot. He plays Thor in the Avengers and the Marvel comics. So mm. the two Hemsworth brothers are kicking ass at the, sure. at the movies right sure. now. Sure. Uh, now, back to France, or to France for the first yes. time. Uh, the Cannes Film Festival, yes. of course, iconic, all of that. The stars, Brad Pitt there, no Angelina. No Angelina to basically everyone's disappointment because it would have been her first appearance since both the leg incident and the engagement. And she always shows up to support him. I mean, they own the red carpet in Cannes, but she was a no-show. They said that she was working, which... Mm. I mean, you're Angelina Jolie. I don't buy that mm -hmm. you can't, can't get, get away. Exactly. On the private jet or exactly. somehow. Exactly. It's an hour away from London, which is where they've been stationed mm. for the last little while while she's getting ready for a movie. But I, almost th I also think that she's smart enough to make us hunger for her. She's like, you really expected me to show up? Well, I'm not going to show up and you're going to miss me. And we did. I had nothing to wear. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's it. Right. Mm, too many children. <laughs> All of that. But uh, he's sexy in his own right. Of course he is. I've oh. always wanted a smart talk with him. He is super sexy. Maybe in the last three days you can make some magic happen and he can come see you with his long hair. He, remember yeah. that hair he had in Legends of the Fall? Mm -hmm. um, he has long hair now. His movie is great. It's called Killing Them Softly. Uh, he plays a gangster um, who, you know, is trying to negotiate killing how... Them softly, killing Flack. them softly, Roberta Flack. Roberta, well, it? it's killing me softly is Roberta killing Flack. Me killing softly. them softly okay. is him. And it's a great right. movie. I, I actually think that he is good enough in it to okay. make another Oscar run. So we'll okay. see. Okay, so that's why I'm not a judge on Idol, because I don't get the song title right. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, who else was there? Clooney? Clooney was not there. Uh, you, you know, in the absence of Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, the couple that sort of took their place was Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart of Twilight fame. Mm -hmm. So 
you know, they were the young couple of Cannes, both having films showing in the festival and both walking the carpet and, and getting people really excited. And apparently the wrestler has moved in. Stacey Keebler, wasn't she a wrestler? She's, to she's moved in. It's home now. It's home now. Like, Clooney's home is her home. She says, we're going home, you know? We had Obama over at our house. Our house. Yes. For so, a, yeah. a big fundraiser. A big fundraiser. What was the it? The million comes dollars? for dinner, yeah. something like that. And, you know, every time the president, you know, it's funny to hear people talking about the traffic because he basically clogs up every mm. artery and Los Angeles is already a nightmare for getting around. Right. So, Yes, he went to George Clooney's house, $15 million was raised, and Stacey Keebler was the hostess. Well, and another gossip person, uh, Mo on Rock 101, yeah. said uh, mentioning marriage to George Clooney is like firing a starting pistol behind Secretariat. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I told you that before, yes. but do you think he'll marry Stacey? No. No. I don't think he'll marry Stacey. Maybe Stacey won't marry him. That was a bit sexist, wasn't it? Sure. Maybe she doesn't want George. Who knows? Uh, so, uh, can anything else? Oh, the Palm Door. The Palm Door went Th to that's Amour. That's the big award. Yes. Directed by Austrian filmmaker Michael Haneke. Mm -hmm. um, and that's his uh, second or third Palm Door. Uh, he, he won it two years ago. So he's clearly one of the heavyweights of this okay, festival. Okay, for a love story. For it's a, called Amour, um, It's obviously. called Amour. I thought it was a good film. It wasn't, you know, it didn't make mm. me beat my chest. And I thought there were better films, more provocative films in the festival. But this was the choice of the, of the jury. Okay, and was there buzz this year? Did it, was it fun? You know what happened is it rained. It was Vancouver in the south of France, and there were three days of horrendous storms. So mm. a lot of people were affected by, it was like, you know, seasonal affective disorder in, in Cannes. Yeah. So it wasn't as like, it wasn't as glamorous simply because it was pouring all the time. Okay. Um, so I would say that it was, of all the Cannes film festivals mm. I've been to, it may have been the most lackluster. Okay. Because Angelina rain wasn't can there. Do that. Angelina wasn't she there. She could have stopped it. the rain. Were, were any <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any famous for being famous there? Like a Kardashian or of anything? Of course. She showed up because she's dating Kanye West now. So she showed up towards the end of the festival. You know, and in typical Kardashian mm -hmm. fashion, the two of them went for a walk at seven o'clock in the morning and were I photographed see. and this and that. I see. What do you think about all of that? Famous for being famous. I... I don't, to be honest with you. I don't really mm. think a lot about her and her family. I just think that you know, this is this is who we are now. It's more of a, flex, a reflection on on us. We get what we deserve, and right now we appear to deserve the Kardashians. Apparently, we do. Yeah, and lots of reality television. Yes, uh, Demi Moore uh, healed better on the up. Swing. They say on the upswing, but there was a par birthday party recently for the rabbi who married her and Ashton Kutcher, and there was somewhat of a reconciliation. The two of them were very close at this party. Apparently, Ashton broke down while giving a speech to the rabbi, and the two of them had a, a moment, and they're talking. People are saying that do not rule out a reconciliation. Okay, well, that happens. In all I just lives, think, to me, I Hollywood. think it's a little bit disingenuous of her okay. to be like, you know, fulfillment, empowerment, and then mm -hmm. to basically. But she has a new movie, doesn't she? She has. She doesn't have a new up. movie. She signed on to a new movie, but it hasn't started shooting. Okay. Yet. And Robert Downey Jr. isn't he doing Avengers or something? He's well. He was in the Avengers, which is basically owning the box office. He's a big right. like, and I think they're saying that he made fifty million dollars off of off of the Avengers. So. Darn. He's the king of Hollywood right now. should have gone to acting. More money, more, he made more money than Johnny Depp. Like, you know, Johnny Depp's mm -hmm. movie came in, came out, Dark Shadows, and completely fizzled, okay. and Avengers crushed did everybody. That. And yeah. uh, Johnny Depp, <clears throat> uh, Depp, and uh, did you meet him when he was here? You probably weren't born when he was doing 90210. Oh, 20 uh, uh, 21 Jump Street, yeah. Yes. I didn't meet him. I was not living here yet, but... You were in Toronto, but you were also pretty young. For, to, I would, yeah, yes. I was younger. Yeah, I would say I was, I was interviewing Johnny Depp, and <laughs> you were just born. <laughs> he's not. He's still with his lady. So I'll, parody. Yes, parody. They, you know, they're working it out. Okay. Yeah. That's there. all good to know. Yeah. And anything else I should know? Oh, Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. Jessica Biel being Buble's ex. No. Is that right? I've got that no, wrong. No, Emily Blunt is Buble's Emily ex. Blunt. I need to come here more often. I know. And, like, you need I, lessons. I've got to keep up. I read hello. You spend too much time doing smart people things. Like, I need you to pull you down into the gutter <laughs> like with me once in a while. Brain scientists. People <laughs> like that. I love the gutter. Your friends are too, you know, refined no, and No, no. My informed. mother read Tolstoy and Photoplay, and I, and I had to oh, uh, change it up. Photoplay was such a great magazine. For you, because I don't think 
Photo Play still no, about? No, it's not around, but it was such a great magazine. Uh -huh. Photo Play was the magazine that had Liz Taylor and Richard Burton on the cover. Exactly. And they were, like, lounging on that yeah. yacht. Oh, those were the days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no so, glamour like that anymore. Uh, I agree. Yeah. Uh, no Marilyn Monroe's today. No. Uh, summer Wedding in Italy, Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. That's you invited? That's the rumor. That's the rumor. I am not invited. Um, I'm very hard on both of them. I need. I think he needs to stop acting. Like, he's mm. terrible. I... The way I feel about Justin Timberlake is I feel like there's this big joke, this Hollywood joke that's being pulled over us because no one I know thinks he's a good actor. He's terrible. Right. So find and your lane. And they keep giving him roles. Um, anyway, but they're saying Italy in the summer, that ring is, I mean, it's probably the size of this situation you have up on, oh, on your hand. But, that's a real diamond. Um, well, his is a, his my, was a real diamond. My diamond's a little cloudy. <laughs> <laughs> his is real and large and you know, um, she's waving. She's been waving it around for for months. How great! Now. How great! Well, you're large, and I thank you. I don't mean in in size. <laughs> you are well, larger I mean, than life, and thank you and congratulations. Hey, thank you, uh, Lainey Lou.